What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again, and today I'm continuing my coverage of the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, and today I'm going to talk about how to secure your new Galaxy S device using a VPN. Now, I've talked about VPNs in the past, but recently I've tried out a new one, thanks to my friends over at Surfshark who did sponsor the video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Surfshark VPN and all the benefits that you can get on your new flagship device by using a VPN service. Now, if you want to download it from the Play Store, I will put the link below, of course. This is what it looks like right here. Have it installed on my device. They're very quick with the updates. Uh, you can read through some of the key features, which I'll get to more in the app. Some key reasons to use a VPN include shielding your online identity from hackers, downloading files securely, making sure when you're doing banking on public Wi-Fi that you stay secure. Also, you can get access to content that might be blocked in a certain country, like Netflix when you're traveling abroad. And you can also get a little bit of cheaper prices uh, for certain things like airline tickets and other things from online shops that might be not available at a certain price in your country. Um, some of the features we're going to talk about uh, are specific to Surfshark VPN. So let's get right into it. Here is the app itself, the icon you can see right there on my Galaxy S10. When you go into the Surfshark VPN app, it's very easy to get connected. If you don't want to bother with all the technical details, there's a little quick connect button at the bottom if you press that. It's going to find the optimal server and go ahead and connect you. Now you'll notice up here in the notification tray, you'll see VPN is activated by Surfshark, connected United States Phoenix, which is very close to where I live, obviously, here in Arizona. You can also go manually and change your location. You've got tons of different countries. You can see all the countries here in the list. Uh, if you want to connect to any of these countries, you can do so. Obviously, there are a ton of U.S. locations. Uh, Phoenix, which is closest to me, Las Vegas, Miami, Dallas, etc. That's mainly because the U.S. is popular uh, for Netflix and things like that. Now, some of the uh, interesting settings, which you'll notice up here at the top, you can go in and actually take a look at things like connectivity, VPN kill switch, which is a great feature. Uh, if the VPN somehow drops, then you'll go ahead and kill your access to the internet. That's if you're really, really concerned about uh, security. That's something you might be interested in doing. If you want to customize your security a little bit, they also have clean web, which will protect you from trackers, malware, pop-up apps. Uh, Whitelister will allow you to select apps and websites that bypass the VPN service. Uh, and then there are some advanced apps here, like analytics, crash tracking, small packets. You can also play with the protocol if you're an advanced user. Uh, that's something that obviously you want to make sure you know what you're doing. If you're a newcomer to the VPN type services, you don't really have to worry too much about that. You can also change language and other things like that from within here. Very simple app to use, especially if you're new to the VPN, which I imagine a lot of you that are watching this video try and learn how to use it are. Now, some of the main issues and sort of things that you can get around by using a VPN, I already talked about earlier. One of them that's a really key thing is Netflix. So, of course, everyone loves Netflix. If you're here in the U.S., you can watch all the shows that are on the U.S. version of Netflix. However, if you travel abroad and say you want to watch something like your favorite Netflix program or a new stand-up comedy special like from Amy Schumer, it's not available in the country you're traveling to, you can go ahead and use the VPN service connect to a US server right there, as you guys can see, like Phoenix, and then the content will be available. Same thing goes for shopping for flights and things like that. Uh, if you're shopping for a flight to another country or within another country, uh, you might get cheaper prices if you actually connect to a server that's closer to the place where you're traveling. Just something that companies like Expedia, Hotwire use to sort of optimize their rates. Now, one of the things that people often ask me a lot about VPNs, and I've talked about in the past, is speed tests. So what kind of degradation are you going to see in terms of the speed when you use a VPN? Now, of course, the speed is going to go down. That's just a, you know, a fact. It's not going to change. You're going to have slower speeds when you're on a VPN. But Surfshark is by far the fastest of all the VPNs that I've used. You guys can see here, I tested... This is my regular connection speed on my Galaxy S10 Plus using my current router. 323 megabytes per second down, 38.2 megabytes per second up. That's without the VPN on. If you go back here and take a look, I ran a test right after connecting to the VPN server. 134 megabytes down, and the upload speed didn't degrade at all. This is definitely the lowest amount of degradation I've seen. I still get super fast speeds here on my Wi-Fi. Also, when I'm traveling and I'm doing this on LTE, I still maintain very fast speeds on the LTE connection. So if you wanna worry about things like that, connection speeds, you're not gonna have an issue with Surfshark VPN. All right guys, well that was my look at Surfshark VPN. I hope you guys understand some of the benefits now, getting lower prices online, uh, using Netflix when you're abroad, or if you live in another country, you can use US version of Netflix. All those sorts of things. I do have a promo code I'm going to drop below in the description. You guys can use that. Get 83% off your subscription to Surfshark VPN, the lowest price available in the market. 
If you guys would, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the video. You can find me at Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. If you have any comments, please drop them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.